Good afternoon. Thank you so much, Danielle. Good afternoon, everyone. It is truly a great pleasure and an honor for me as president of the university to welcome you to Clark. As Danielle just mentioned, in addition to being president, I'm also an alum of the university. I graduated in Clark's centennial class of 1987. Yes. Woo! For those of you who are quick with math, that means that my own first day here on this campus was 39 years ago. That was a long time ago. Um, and I know none of you remember it, those who are starting college this year. Um, but uh, it was an amazing experience. Like Danielle, I found my education at Clark to be truly transformative. And I'm confident that you will, too. Clarkies are very confident people. I've seen it in those of you that I've met today. Certainly, in our Ace and Connection students that I got to meet. Um, yeah. Yeah. So I feel very confident as an alum myself in saying that I believe that many of the things that drew me to Clark those 39 years ago are some of the same things that draw you here today. And while the institution has changed in a number of ways, it has stayed the same in all the ways that are most important. So my job in this moment, as both a president and a graduate, is to tell you everything you need to know about being a student at Clark, which is a lot. But I'm pretty confident that I can do it in two hours. <laughs> Nevertheless, if you stop listening before I finish speaking, let me know. I'm, of course, not going to speak for two hours. <laughs> Um, and I'm not going to tell you everything you may need to know or want to know about Clark. In fact, an important part of the educational process is discovering things for yourself. Now, that doesn't mean you have to learn about this place wholly on your own. There are so many people here eager to help you. But forging your own path at Clark is actually what will allow you to get the most out of your time here. And that's a topic for other speakers maybe later today in today's program or over the next several days. What I would like to speak to you about today are three things. One, the opportunity of an academic community. Two, the inevitability of making mistakes. And three, the project that is you. So first, the opportunity of an academic community. The college community you are joining today is an extraordinary one, and one made even more amazing by your presence in it. We have a terrifically talented and engaged group of students from around the nation and across the globe. We have a wonderfully accomplished faculty who have devoted their professional life to being teacher scholars, meaning every one of them does research alongside their work in the classroom. We have a deeply experienced and especially devoted staff who choose to work here because they get so much satisfaction out of seeing you thrive. Understand that this community isn't something that sits apart from you. You, starting today, are fully a part of it. I understand that meeting new people and immersing yourself in a new community can be daunting for some, and that's completely natural and normal. Take your time. Extend yourself at your own pace, but it's important that you work at it. It's important to push yourself. It's important to take an active role in creating your life here and not to just let things happen. Most important, though, is that you don't take this community for granted. All of its members that you will meet Every one of them is an opportunity to gain something from or to give something of yourself to. It's everyone you encounter. You can gain something from and give something to. A community like this one won't be at your doorstep at every stage of your life. Embrace this one in your time here. As you actively pursue this work, this type of engagement, you will, of course, meet people here from different states and countries, from different types of areas, urban, suburban, rural. 
people from different cultural backgrounds and educational approaches, people who have traveled to places you have never been, done things you have never done. And of course, you'll meet people who haven't had the same experiences that you've had. You will most certainly encounter people who have different ideas, passions, and interests. And of course, you will encounter people who think differently about various subjects and who see the world through different lenses. This is what an academic community is all about. It's about the power of ideas. It's about a passion for learning and discovery. It's about a restlessness to understand things more deeply. Be open to all of that. Be open to exploring why others think as they do, why they believe what they believe, how they see a particular issue. That is ultimately what learning is all about. Now, inevitably, you will come to find that you don't agree with everyone's views or ideas. That, too, is completely natural and normal. All we ask is that you respect each other, that you engage in dialogue and even disagreement civilly and with an openness to bridging differences. These types of exchanges are opportunities to test your own assumptions, confirm the basis of your own beliefs for you and for yourself, for you and for yourself to be part of educating other members of this community. Academic communities are powerful and special precisely because they bring together living and learning. You will learn a great deal in our classrooms and laboratories, but you will also learn much from time spent with other members of this community in the dining hall, in the residence halls, on the athletic fields, and in so many other places on campus. Understand that your education at Clark includes all of this. So please, once again, embrace this community as fully and as quickly as you can. My second topic, the inevitability of making mistakes. You will make mistakes. That too is a fundamental part of learning. Know that everyone makes mistakes. And please do not fall into the trap of thinking that there is only one way, or even a best way, to approach your education, to choose a field of study, to explore an extracurricular interest. Fear of making the wrong choice can easily lead to not choosing at all, and to a kind of paralysis that denies you the fullest opportunity of being at Clark. And when you inevitably do make a mistake or struggle in your effort to engage this academic community, never for a moment, never for a moment, allow yourself to think that you don't belong here. And never be afraid to ask for help. It is not a sign of weakness. It is most certainly a sign of strength and courage. That leads me to my third topic, the project that is you. During your time at Clark, don't forget to take care of yourself. I mean that in several ways. Understand that part of college, that part of college is about coming more fully into your personhood. It's about finding your voice. It's about learning what matters most to you. It's about allowing others into your journey and about learning how to make decisions for yourself and live with any consequences of those decisions. Most importantly, I want to encourage you to be the agent of your own change. Many people approach college as something that will happen to them. They take the required courses, they read the assignments, they write their papers, and in the end, they get a diploma. That is, they do only what's seemingly expected of them. They follow a path that somebody else has set for them. This is a very passive approach to education. And while it may work for some, I believe you owe it to yourself to be more in command of your time here. Take charge of the project that is you, and I believe you will flourish not only during your time at Clark, but for the rest of your life. And finally, an important part of taking care of yourself is to have fun. Now, to families. You are part of the Clark community as well, and I encourage you to be as engaged as your student will allow. But also remember to give them the space, the time, and the encouragement to be themselves. But we very much hope 
that you will be on your own journey alongside your student and that you too will learn from, benefit from, and um, be engaged with the community in ways that enrich your own life. So I welcome you all. I am so proud to be in this room with our amazing class of 2026. I wish you every success. And I look forward to meeting you and working with all of you in the years ahead. Thank you very much. <laughs>